France, the place where they signed the Paris Accord, aimed to tackle climate change and energy transition. So how come they can't handle renewable energy? To understand that, we need to look back from the 1990s to the noughties to the dimes to the 2020s. Notice anything? Nuclear. France is the world's poster boy for nuclear energy embracing it with open arms as if it was a long-lost relative. With around 70% of its electricity coming from nuclear power, the French seem to have truly understood the power of radiation. Wait, where do they get all their nuclear material from? Nope, 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 we're changing the topic. There are definitely some benefits to nuclear. Cheap energy, no emissions, exotic fish. The drawback to nuclear? Some protesters, I guess. Protesters that have nothing but only the best interest for the environment. Other than nuclear, France does have some other means of generating electricity. But hardcore green energy enthusiasts only consider wind and solar as real green energy. There are some solar in France, hitting a commendable 10,000 megawatts in installed capacity. And we have more coming on the way, right? Then there is wind as well, hitting around 20,000 megawatts in installed capacity. These are all great numbers, but capacity itself does not equate to energy produced. So why can't nuclear and hardcore renewables get along? Well, nuclear is designed to operate at near maximum capacity at all times. The efficiency of the machine drops tremendously otherwise. On the other hand, wind and solar can't make up their minds if they want to stay or want to go. If the other energy sources are able to play around nuclear and supply the rest of the energy demand during peak timings, that would be ideal. But the worst case scenario will be when there is no electricity demand and solar and wind decides to go peak performance. So when people ask how renewable is the energy in France, hardcore renewable energy enthusiasts can say 20%. Like don't get me wrong, being able to generate 20% from hardcore renewables is commendable if anything. Quite a hit compared to the others. It's just that it's not so easy to produce and consume more renewables after a certain stage. Once the renewable energy fuel mix reaches a certain value, different challenges will surface. This is common knowledge in the energy industry. The solution that cleared level 1 is not going to be effective for level 2 or level 3. It will require something different. We have looked into how France progressed in renewable energy. But despite a tough task, they are pushing hard. The ones that are really holding the world back from energy transition are the ones who prefer to sit and wait and learn from the others. And also fossil fuel subsidies. Like, if you ain't gonna push for solar or wind, at least remove some fossil fuel subsidies so that the competition is not so one-sided.